Hi, Lou Manfredini, ACES Home Expert. In this video, we're gonna talk about my five tips on how to choose the right water heater for your home. Okay, in this video, I'm gonna talk about gas-fired water heaters and how to choose the right one. There's a couple of things to consider when it comes to making sure you're putting in the right water heater for you and your family. Number one is the gallons, the size of the water heater in the fact that it's gonna store water and how much you need. This particular unit is a 40 gallon water heater. It's probably the most common water heater that is in homes in the US. From there, you can go to a 50 gallon, you can go to a 75 gallon, some manufacturers make 60 gallons, even 100 gallons, but just keep in mind, that when you're choosing that and the gallons of water that it keeps, that's what it stores and has to keep heated as well. Now for the typical family of four, a 40 gallon water heater is usually sufficient for a sizing. Something to keep in mind that when you're taking a shower, 70% of the water that you use is hot. So you can kind of do the math. The average shower is about 10 minutes. And so if you're all getting up at the same time in the morning taking showers, well, that family of four and a 40 gallon water heater, you might not have enough hot water. So there is a little bit of math that goes into figuring out what size it is. Now, the next step to look at when it comes to choosing a tanked water heater is the BTUs, meaning that how big the burner is. There's standard and what they call high recovery. And so a standard unit, typically in a 40 gallon heater, as we're describing here, is somewhere around 40 to 50,000 BTUs. When you get into the higher recovery, those numbers are in the 60s to 70s, meaning that it will heat that water faster and get you to the recovery point. That is something that's very important. Now, if you're someone that wants endless hot water, well, you may want to consider doing a tankless water heater or on-demand. These are really kind of a third of the size of what we see here. It doesn't store any water whatsoever, but when you turn it on, it makes endless hot water, meaning that 10 people could take a shower one after another after another, and you would never run out of hot water. Keep in mind, another consideration is the cost. A 40 gallon tanked water heater like this is probably your least expensive option. When you get into a on-demand system, those are considerably more expensive, but you have to also factor that in about the life expectancy of the unit. A tank water heater like this, the average life is about 10 years in the US. An on-demand water heater in the US, the life expectancy is 20 years. So while you may spend twice as much money installing it, you will save money long term. Another factor to consider. This tanked water heater right here, when no one is home, is filled with hot water that you paid to heat. With an on-demand water heater, it's off. It's not using any energy to store or heat any water. It's just waiting for you to come home to turn on the spigot. So from an environmental standpoint, it really is the best way to go. There are other considerations, of course, size and placement of what you have to do, but these tips should help to give you some clarity when it comes to choosing the right water heater. And that's it. If you need more information, you can always go to our website, acehardware.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, or better yet, stop by your local Ace Hardware store, because Ace is the helpful place.